What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Trading Wars. Thanks for joining me today. We are here yet again for another trading day. I'm going to be breaking down the plays today. And uh, what I want to do today was start off with a little bit of a lesson. And then we'll go into the setups and the trades that we took on the day. All right. So if you're ready, my friends, let's step into the war zone. First and foremost, who do we have? Let me shout out some of you guys here. Doc. Mike Lewis, Trading Wars Army, Briggs, Trading Wars Army, Ain, Eric Brown, Trading Wars Army, AA, Nitin, Trading Wars Army, what's going on, brother? Ramon, what's going on, Trading Wars Army, Marcelo, STK, Trading Wars Army, good to see you, my brother, Dr. D, and Gringo Loco in the building, good to see you, brother. All right, so today we're talking about the Fibonacci reversals. Um, this is another, uh, basically another layer to the Fibonacci trading uh, style. And uh, what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to just draw with you some scenarios. And we're going to do a little bit of a lesson before we go into the stream, okay? So in any uh, given price action um, trading day, you can either have a push down or you can have a push up, right? One of those two things are going to happen, okay? So over time, you're either going to go lower or you're going to go higher. And with the fibs, guys, there's a few uh, key areas that you need to watch. So the first thing is when you go down, at some point, you're going to retrace. So the retracement leg, let's make this in yellow. So at some point, you're going to retrace, okay? And same thing when you're going long up here, at some point, you're going to retrace, okay? And with that retrace, what we're doing is we're going to use a Fibonacci tool and we're drawing the golden zone to be the area where we expect the retracement to come to and where we expect to get in for a good trading opportunity okay it doesn't it doesn't happen 100 percent of the time but there's a good chance that we pull back into the golden zone all right so there's your golden zone there and then here is your golden zone on the bull side right there okay so now the question is why would you want to wait for the golden zone why do you guys why would you want to wait well you want to wait for the golden zone because you want to get in on a pullback. So if you buy puts over here, you're getting a bad deal, right? Because you're buying at the lows and the put prices are going to be extremely expensive. However, if you let it retrace and you buy puts in the golden zone or you short in the golden zone, you have a good risk to reward because your stop loss could be at the swing high to protect you as well as the premiums are going to be cheaper when it comes back into that retracement because you're retracing 50 to uh, fifty to 78.6 percent of this drop okay now it's the same thing here when you're pulling back the calls are going to be cheaper when you buy it on the pull back right because you're getting a deal the calls are going to be coming um cheaper pricing because it, it, the stock is going down all right so it's basically like getting a discount it's like getting a deal all right and there is the odd time where we just go down forever like that could happen and in that case you'll never get a pullback but this looking for this trade where you think we're just going to go down forever has an extremely low probability. And because it has a low probability, you don't really have an edge just, just doing that. Because first of all, you have to pay expensive for premiums. And second of all, the market doesn't just go straight up or straight down. Okay. All right. So now what about the, ex so now what's the next step? So from this point here, we can either make a new low like this, or we can, continue higher. So those are two options, right? So now where the Fibonacci reversals come into play, the Fibonacci reversal is saying, if we do make a new low, where could that end? Where could this end? Where could this end? Where could this leg finish? And there is a golden zone for that as well. Okay. So there's two ways to get in. You can wait for a candlestick confirmation. I talk about this in my book right here, guys. Right here, there's two ways to enter Fibonacci, candlestick or limit entries, okay? And we have another golden zone right here. So that's your golden reversal zone. Okay, so let's put that in orange. And it's the same thing here. So what if we continue higher? Okay, well, where is our golden reversal zone? Same thing. We take the 272 and to the, two, to the 618 right here. So there's, there's a golden zone to continue with the trend. And then there's a golden zone to where we can reverse. So today we're looking at the reversals, these key areas. What's the main benefit of the reversal? Well, guess what? At the reversal, after you have two legs down, the calls are going to be cheap. 
or after you have two legs up, the puts are going to be cheap. And the second thing is, so you get a cheap deal, you get a good risk reward. And the second thing is, we know the market likes to move in legs. So I always tell people two legs and we're out two legs. Here's one pullback two. boom. That's usually what the market likes to do two legs because on the second leg here, this is where the FOMO will trap the new rookie traders. They will be FOMOing here and they'll be shorting the breakout or they'll be buying new highs. The rookie traders will get caught in there. So we don't want to do what the rookie traders will do. If we, we want to do the opposite. All right. So hit me with a 10. Does that lesson make sense right there? Does that make sense? And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into SPY and then I'm going to show you the Fibonacci place. So let me know if that makes sense. So there, there is your scenarios there, guys. And, you know, it's pretty straightforward with the Fibs. If we make a new low or if we make a new high, there's a, a reversal zone as well. All right. So let's go here. Five minute chart. I'm going to hit the replay. So I'm going to walk you through my trades today. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, in the morning, the opening range breakout and the trigger really chopped me up, And I was, I, I, but I was able to recover with the Fibonacci play. So I'm always grateful for the Fibonacci, very, very grateful because it's a great strategy. It's helped me make money throughout the years, and I'm so happy that I could share it with you, okay? So the first thing here, guys, let's go ahead and draw our high and our low. So we have our high and our low, which is going to tell us what kind of trading strategies we need to use, and then we're going to go in here. And we're going to go to the trigger trades and I'm going to post the trigger as well, which was here. So 408.90. Okay. So 408.90 was our trigger short. So I'll go ahead and draw that right there. All right. So we're going to make this in red. Okay. All right. So first candle comes in here, guys, on the three minute chart. Let's go to the one minute actually so I can show you in detail. So remember, this red line is our line in the sand where we want to get short. Okay. The white line is the previous day's low. So the first candle comes in here, guys, and we break. So we break the red line. So let me go to my live commentary and uh, let me show you guys. So, so where are we? Yes, yeah, yesterday. Okay. Good morning, friends. Another gap down. Our short trigger is 408.90. Let's keep an eye on that. So our short trigger came in right away, guys, at 931. Like I just showed you, within one minute, we got filled. And um, after that, guys, we started to push down. And we made this push down. We pushed down a little bit, and then we reversed. And what I did is I canceled it extremely quickly. I closed the position extremely quickly because I wanted to have a small loss. And in hindsight, guys, I wish that I didn't do that because the trade ended up working. But I, I, I was okay with it because once I saw that we broke this low and we didn't follow through and we turned around, I was like, all right, you know what? Let me just kill the position. So from there, guys, I went to the three minute chart and I took this opening range breakout. And uh, you could see, guys, I got really uh, pushed around this morning. After my short failed, I went long right here and then my long failed. And then my trigger came back in play and then it flushed. So I was a little bit upset with that, but, you know, it was small losses. So I'm totally OK with that. Small losers. I'm totally OK with that. I'm not going to beat myself up too much about that. Um, and that's one of the benefits of trading quickly at the open. All right. But the play that we took to um, bring back our gains, guys, was the FIB. So let me walk you through the FIB now. So we'll go to the three minute. Um, so we pop down here. Boom. First candle comes in. Okay. Then we have this. So once this candle comes in, guys, this is an extremely powerful candle. What candle is this? What candle is this? Um, what, do, what do you guys think? What candle is this? This is an outside bar. And you can see the size of this candle. So whenever this candle came in, the size of this candle is such a massive candle that I knew that there's an algorithm likely in that candle because they wanted to fake out the bulls and they wanted to bring it back down. So from there, what I did here was I just drew up the fib. So right here, we go high to low like this, okay? And then it's now, so this is the first fib. This is the, this is not the reversal. This is your, your normal retracement. So where are we looking for? In the golden zone, so 50 to 786. So guys, we pop back up right here on the 50 and then boom, guys, we tag the 618 guys, literally uh, one penny below. So whenever I put in orders, I always give it a little bit of room. So if I'm using futures, we put in um, at least a tick or half or two ticks. So we make sure we get filled. So we got filled right here, guys, on the 618. Okay. And then we boom, made a new low right there. Okay. So we made a new low by a penny. Then we came back up to the 786 and then bam, flushed right down. So Thankfully, the Fibonacci right there 
came in. That was the same play I showed you earlier. That's what we call the morning leg, right? And this is your just your normal retracement. So this is not a reversal. This is just your normal retracement. So thankfully, guys, I was able to get that fib there to protect me. Um, otherwise, I, it wouldn't have been a great day at all. Uh, but just, that just shows you guys how powerful these fibs are. So us taking the short here, guys, remember, even on the 786, this candle right here, at one point, it was green. And what do you guys think? I, just think about this logically, right? If we buy puts here and we get this move, are you going to make more money? Or if you buy puts down here, are you going to make more money? What do you guys think? So when it comes all the way back up to the 786, we're waiting like a hawk. We'll go to the one minute so I can show you in detail. We come right there on the 786, guys. And it's even picture perfect on the one minute because you also have an inside bar confirmation, right? So we push down, we pull up 786, bam, we hit the short there. We hit the short as well on the 618, protective stop loss at this high. And then we swing down, boom, and we made a new low. So what do you guys think? Are you going to make a lot of money on puts here? So let's say you shorted up here, or let's say you, you shorted when we broke the low. So hit me with a one for up here or hit me with the two for down there. What do you guys think? Okay. So essentially here, what I'm trying to show you guys is um, the risk to reward here is, is a lot better. So just winning this trade, just winning this trade paid for all the losers. And that's what's so powerful because in Fibonacci, generally speaking, you can, if you win one Fibonacci trade, that can pay for two losers. So one out of three trades is all you really need on a day. So let's say you take three Fibonacci trades. You could lose two of them, but if you hit one of them like this, you hit it, makes a new low, makes a new high, you're good. You're golden. All right. That's what I'm trying to say here, guys. All right. So now let's go back here to the five. And now this is where the reversal comes in. Okay. So the first thing here, guys, remember what I showed you, the golden reversal zone, 272 to 618. Let's go back to the one minute so we can see it clearly. Okay. So look how beautiful this Fibonacci is. Algorithm to algorithm, symmetrical, Mona Lisa. Watch this now. So we come, we pull into the golden zone, and then we come down to the golden zone long right? So we trade to the extension. The algorithm up here is happy. We are all happy, right? Because remember, when we trade FIBS, when we get a new low, we're out. We want to be out at the majority of the position because we know this candle here is when the rookies get in, okay? This candle right here is when the rookie comes in, and this candle right here is also when the flow comes in 25 minutes later after the move is already gone. And then you see this, this, this coming in because everything else, everything's delayed. But we look at the FIB and we predict, Okay, when I come down here to the 272, to the 618, this golden zone, can I see some reversal? What can I see here? What do we see? We see a hammer. We see a hammer bar, and we also see this little doji as well. So we have clues down here, guys. We also have a waterfall. One, two, three, four, five. Five candles red in a row, and on the sixth candle, we break the high. That Those are just technical trading patterns, but you need to place them with the fibs, right? Or the other option is as soon as it gets down there, you just buy a lotto. Boom, you just buy it. You just buy a lotto, you know your full risk. Your upside is huge, and your, your downside, it is you know what it is because that's your zero days to expire. Whatever you put in, what you can lose. Okay? All right. So there is your golden, um, there's your golden reversal zone. And then from here, guys, we have a new leg here. If I take this from this high now, so let me just let me just remove all of this so I can just show you clearly. So then the next leg comes in. This is the sequence leg. Why is this thing not working properly? I to low again. So we come back in the 618 again, guys. And look, you see that? So it's like moving in, it's moving in like music, right? It's moving like a symmetrical monster. Push down, pull up, push down, pull up, push down. So we pull back 618, extension, reverse, new 618, pull back down. It's just like algorithm, algorithm, algorithms are just, they're just waiting, guys. And they're doing the opposite of what you're trained to do. They're instead of okay, we're we're breaking out, we're breaking a flag. Instead of doing all of that, guys, they're just doing the opposite. And the only way you can really see it is when you analyze the fibs. All right, guys. So you can see this six one eight right here took us right back down. All right. And then the last play here that I wanted to show you guys was we had a nice afternoon leg, where so the so you can do the same thing later in the day. So the first thing here we notice is this leg. 
was dead, right? We didn't we didn't have any trading opportunities on this leg. Um, but this leg here where the bulls came in, if we go high to low like this. So the bulls came in really aggressively on the 382. And as soon as we got up to the extension, there's your 272, guys. Check this out. Sell off. And people are always going to look back, guys, and they're always going to be like, it was FOMC, it was Fed, it was news, it was this and this and this. But nobody can time it as beautiful as the Fibs. Trust me, guys, the Fibonacci, the market makers, they're 10 steps ahead. They're 10 steps ahead, guys. Trust me, a robot is always going to be 10 steps ahead of anybody. They can outthink you. So right here, I see everybody posting, oh, this news, blah, blah, blah. Guys, it's a 272 extension. The bull has already made the money on this pullback, taking it back up here. Yes, there's always going to be catalysts. But you have to understand, there's also algorithms first and foremost in the stock market that run the stock markets. Algorithms first, news second. Okay? All right, guys. So hit me, hit me with a 10. Hit me with a 10 if that was good. Hit me with a 10 if that was good. Was that good? So that was what I wanted to show you. And I just want to give you an example here. So two examples very quickly. So in the Fibonacci um, live stock room, we draw intraday fibs. So today we had Apple. So let me just show you Apple, right? So we drew up our leg on Apple. Okay. So this is the afternoon. You have your low, you have your high. So Apple was picture perfect because we pulled back to the 50. And then we had that hammer, took us to the 272 reverse back down. So when you're trading the afternoon, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for those extensions. You're looking for those reversals. And that that's what we draw them up in this, uh, in this room for everybody. And just to show you the morning commentary, I just want to show you guys, it's not hindsight with the fib. So, so we drew this right in the morning. We said, we have a micro leg already bouncing off 50, 618 fills short. So that was the short that I showed you in the morning. And then we had the sell off here, target 382 hit, first target met, stops the break even now for risk free trade. Boom, new low, bam. So, you know, it's one thing to look at the charts, guys, and say, yeah, I could have done this and that, but it takes time to um, actually learn how to draw them in real time. But once you do, once you have that skill, guys, it's a skill for life. You'll see fibs every single where that you go. Literally, you might go to the park and you might see a Fibonacci on the tree. Okay. All right. So, other trade here I wanted to just know I just wanted to point out is plug. So plug was a quick $1,500 for me. And I just wanted to point this out. This is one of my old school patterns that is kind of forgotten. And I just wanted to point this one out because, uh, you know, not I know some of you trade stocks. So this is what I call the shotgun pattern. So this is the shotgun. I love trading the shotgun pattern because it basically is a squeeze. So if you look here in the last three days on plug, we've had a big seller that came in here. Okay. So right after we had that breakout, big seller, another inside bar, which means indecision. So right here on plug, let me show you how we took this trade. Okay. So you can see here, this, this box, this represents the shotgun. Okay. So here's your shotgun. Here's your poke up, push down. So we know there's a seller over here. So let me go ahead here. And then I'm going to go to my trade plans and plug is over here. Nope. Oh plug oh plug was on the twitter so plug so plug was right here 2140 okay so 2140 was our entry on plug so let me go ahead here i just want to show you guys if you can look at if you can analyze the daily chart before you enter some of these trade guys you can make a lot of money all right so here we go so 2140 is my entry okay we open below it i love when we open below the trigger like this because i'm not filled yet but if we squeeze, I'm in. Boom. Okay. Inside bar, just hanging out. Nothing yet. Then we break through here and then we take off. Okay. So that was clean. Very, very nice. I love this one. This one was money, 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 money. $1,507. Make sure you follow the Twitter. I post free picks there every single day. That was $1,500 on plug. All right. Guys. Hit me with an eight if you had a good time there. Send me some rockets as well. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. The morning chopped me up. I'm not going to lie. Chopped me up. But that Fibonacci right there saved the day. And I'm very grateful for the fibs. Appreciate the fibs a lot. I'm very grateful. I put in a lot of work, probably close to 1,000 hours in my own, uh, in trading, back testing. I've spent maybe $100,000 in capital to learn how to do the fibs in real time. Because you, anybody can show you or anybody can, you know, I went the way I learned it, like it was picture perfect, but when you actually trade it, it's not picture perfect. There's little things and you don't, you don't learn that until you put your money on the line, because when you put your money on the line, then you, you, you see, you see things like slippage, you see things like FOMO, 
you see things like um, not your order is not getting filled, right? So, you know, I'm very grateful that I could share my journey with you guys. I appreciate you guys. Okay. Thank you. All right. As always, check me out at tradingwars.com. That's the only place I'm at, guys. If the fib, this fib book right here is everything I just spoke about and a lot more detail, over 50 charts and 70 pages. Consider grabbing this if you want to support me, guys. I do a lot for free here. Um, you'll get one month for free in the room. You can come tr trade with us live tomorrow for 30 days. And you get the indicators for life, my upgraded indicators, Nirvana and Golden, plus the scanner, okay? Or you can sign up right here on the main page if you're interested. I just have another announcement here. I'll just share this with you guys today. So I am in my stock room, guys. I have included, going forward, blue raindrop trading strategies. Okay, so full entry, stop loss target. Going forward, I'm going to be um, doing blue raindrops every single day, and I'm going to be sharing trading plans. So I'll share this one with you guys for free today. These are the two blue raindrops that I'll be looking for tomorrow. So let me show you how I was able to scan those. So right here, I ran the blue raindrop scan, and I just went through this list, and two that caught my attention. First one was Ford. I really like Ford here, guys, because we had this big run up yesterday, a lot of, uh, you know, a big climax. Um, so right here with this tight little blue raindrop, it's a nice opportunity for maybe puts if we start breaking the low or if we want to squeeze higher, I'm down for that as well. Oracle, Oracle is always a good play here, guys. Um, you know, just a little bit of a pullback here, like a little bit of a waterfall going on. So that's why I took that. So these are the two that I'm going to be um, adding. I already have trading plans for as well as we already have our main stock picks as well. All right, guys, so I, I want to keep growing and getting better, and that's part of my plan. Let's also see what else we have on the scanner. Let's go for the Holy Grail. Let's see if there's anything. Uh, so a few names here. None of these I trade. Maybe CVS. Let's see. Nope. Too much chop, so we just skip that. So I always make sure that I'm trading ones that I'm familiar with. A blue raindrop is basically similar to inside bar. It means a lot of consolidation. It's a, it's a different way of looking at consolidation with volume. It looks like consolidation with volume. All right. So nothing else here on the Nirvana except for this one here, Morgan Stanley. I like this. Let's see when the last time we had a Nirvana back here. You can see we had one near highs, kind of looks similar to this, you know, potentially here for a sell off. And we had one lower here that took us higher. So Nirvana's pretty good swing signals, I would say, um, for Morgan Stanley. So we can keep an eye on that one going forward. All right, guys, look, if you want to get my indicators and my setups for TrendSpider and my scanners, you can use code TWZ30 at checkout, 30% off. Or you just email right here, support, is it hello at TrendSpider.com. And they'll just let, if you're already a member of TrendSpider, and they'll get you over to my affiliate. Another big announcement that I have, guys, is that we have the Fibonacci edition right here, guys, the Trading Wars seminar number four. So this is our fourth seminar of the year. Uh, the seminars, we always have great turnout. I just want to show you guys right here. So this is the flyer. Um, if you have all three of my books, you will get in for free, no charge. All right. But you need to be an active member of the Discord. Okay. So this is for my Discord exclusive. Um, I, I really want to focus on the people that are serious with this and they trade with me every day. I'm going to share a lot more secrets here on the fibs and I'm going to go through a ton of examples. Um, and I'm going to go pretty intense with this. So this is going to be August 28th. So if you're considering joining up, um, you know, if you get all three books, you'll get the seminar for free, uh, no charge. If you get the bundle deal, you get the seminar for free as well. So I just want to put that out there in case you're interested. Um, otherwise than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'm going to be posting some free picks in a second. Trading Wars Golden Indicators, add these on your chart for free on TradingView. Help you out there, guys. I'll just send that over. And as always, please comment, like, subscribe on the way out. Uh, remember, when we break 25K subs, I'll be giving away $500. So please make sure you're subscribed. I'm going to pick one of my subscribers for the $500 giveaway. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the day. Sometimes the mornings are a little bit tough, but the fibs will always show us the way. Okay. Whether it's a reversal or a pullback, and we always live to see another day. So, you know, just wanted to share that message with you guys. If you're feeling like it's a little bit tough, it was tough for me too, but you got to stick to your guns and stick to your systems, stick to your setups. Thank you very much for your time and take care, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.